What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. In this video, we're going to talk about Benkey. All right. Benkey is a lending protocol that is on Avalanche. It's nothing like Aave, but it, it's, it's basically like a generic off-brand Benkey. <laughs> it's the Avalanche brand Aave. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's go ahead and explain how it's a game changer and what's pretty interesting about it and what I like about Avalanche and what I really don't like. Well, I did make an introduction video. Um, I explained it. The first thing I'm just going to go ahead and mention straight off the bat, guys, the gas fees are going to wreck you, especially if you don't have a lot of money. Make sure you guys check out the video I made on how to get your tokens from Matic Network to Avalanche. Um, in addition to like, I'm just referring to gas fees right now so you can afford the ethereum gas fee there actually is a pretty cool hack so stay tuned and well actually just check out the video but first off watch this video so we're going to show you guys how to use banky to basically leverage yield farm what is leverage yield farming well it's basically when you borrow you deposit that asset that you borrow borrow against that borrow <laughs> and then you borrow some more and deposit and borrow some more against that we'll explain it to you guys now and show you guys how to do it no worries so there's a couple of different pools that you guys can use you can use avalanche die wrapped ethereum link usdt wrap btc now there's something to keep in mind when you go to the different markets that you can use keep in mind not all of them are able to be used as collateral if you can't use it as collateral you cannot leverage yield farm us or USDTE is one that you cannot use as collateral, hence why it also pays a higher APY because there's not a lot of people borrowing against it. So it's just something that's like, oh, snap, okay. Now, another one is LINK. LINK pays a, or has a collateral factor of about 50%. It is able to be used as collateral, but you see this 50% number, even if you look at AVAX, that one's 40%. That is not capital efficient. Why is it not capital efficient? Well, if you deposit $10,000, you're only going to be able to borrow $4,000. It's because your collateral factor is 40%. That's something to keep in mind when you're using this leverage. So you can also use it for wrapped Bitcoin or even wrapped Ethereum. Wrapped Ethereum, I'm surprised, has a same the same collateral factor as um, Dai, which is kind of cool. It's interesting. I'm surprised Dai doesn't have an 80% collateral factor, but that that's just my thought. Maybe they're factoring in uh, that it's backed by USDC as a stablecoin. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll see. It's just a second thought. But you guys can see the yields are way lower on DAI. And there's a reason for that. Is because, well, you can use it as collateral and borrow more. So you can basically earn interest on money that was never originally yours. Now let's go to the borrow section. This is where they're actually going to be paying you to borrow. I'm going to go on an account that I already opened this up. So as you guys can see here, this is where you can actually borrow and get paid. So right now, if you're borrowing Avalanche, you're going to have to pay 4.92%, but the distribution APY is going to be 34%. So the key rewards are 24% and the AVAX rewards are just about 10%. That's how they come up with the 34%. So that 34% though, you have to minus that 4% because that's what you're paying. So the borrow APY is what you pay and the distribution APY is just something that's like incentivizing users to be like, hey, bro, use the protocol because we say so. We want more liquidity over here. It's just a liquidity mining incentive. That's all it is. I know it's hard to understand, but yes, in this relation, it is free money, but it always comes with a caveat. Why is it free? Well, it's because they want liquidity over here. So they're basically paying for liquidity. So just like you pay for ads, like on a banner or on a billboard, this is their way of marketing. Hey, we're paying you to use our protocol. Come use it. And that brings a lot of people over. So believe it or not, that's one of the ways to use it. So this is where you can borrow. So once you borrow, you will go back and hit supply. Once you supply it, then you'll be earning the 1% APY and the 9% distribution APY. So let me go ahead and show you the overview of the reward. So here's the overview and this is the strategy. So right now, these are the different APRs and APYs that you'll get. Well, actually APY is not APR. So this is a strategy you can use. Say you wanted to, for example, you want to deposit DAI, you're going to then earn 13% interest in DAI. Now, 
you're going to have a, say you deposit $10,000. Now you're going to be able to borrow $6,000. So you're going to come over here and you can borrow $6,000 of any asset that you want. I mean, you can borrow and well, if you borrow USDT E, you aren't going to be able to lend against it and upgrade your health factor. Cause if you borrow 6,000, you're going to liquidate yourself. Cause remember the collateral factor is well, what 60%. So if you're borrowing $6,000, that's 100%, you're liquidated. So you're probably gonna have to do like 5,900 or 5,800, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna get super risky, do 5,999. No, I don't recommend it guys. I was just joking around with you, but still be careful. So now you're gonna borrow the asset. Let's say for example, we're gonna borrow die. So we're gonna borrow some die. The APY to pay is 6%. So that's why they put up 17% because that's what's your netting. So now we're going to earn 13%. Now we're going to earn 17% on the $6,000 we're borrowing. Now we deposit that $6,000 over here. Now we're earning 13% on $16,000. So instead of just on $10,000, we're earning 13% on $16,000 and that additional 17%. So you can automatically just tally that to 30%. So Let's just go ahead and break it down. That's with the first leverage. So to break that down, what is 30% on $17,000 or $16,000? That's gonna come out to $4,800 every single year. Now that's basically $13 a day. Now that is what it is with $16,000. Now say you didn't even leverage that. What would this percentage be? Well, all you gotta do is do 13% times, well, $10,000 because that was your original deposit. And that's going to be $1,300 for the year. And it's about $3.56. So basically you multiply your yields by four times when you compound this and leverage it. So now you got $16,000 over here. You'll probably be able to borrow another $4,000, maybe $5,000. Uh, keep in mind, you have avalanche transaction fees. They are a bit hefty right now. So now we're going to borrow another 4000 so now we can go ahead and factor in, all right, we're going to be earning 30% on $20,000. Why is that? Well, because you take the 17% or 17.76 plus the 13. We're just going to round that to 30% because 17 plus 13, it's about 30%. Well, 17 plus 13 is 30. So we have the 30%. So now we just did a second compound because what we did is we borrowed against this and deposited it into here. So it's a auto compounding going back and forth, back and forth. You just make the transaction over and over. Stay till the end of the video. I'll show you how to do it. I'm just trying to explain the strategy to you now. So now you can do 30 or 2000 or $20,000 times 0.3, which is the 30%. Now you're making $6,000 every year. So if you factor that in, you are actually making about 60% interest on your $10,000 because you're making $6,000 in the year. You're putting in $10,000. That's the power of leverage interest. So initially you would have made 1,300, now you're making $6,000 on $10,000. It's crazy. I know it's a lot of numbers, but it's okay. Keep in mind, let me show it to you guys. Obviously this strategy is not going to last for a year. It is temporary, so it's something to keep in mind, but this is how you'll do it. So you'll hit supply, you deposit, die, whatever you want to deposit, and you do 100% or 75, whatever you want to deposit, and you hit the transaction fee. Now, we're going to go ahead and borrow. So right now, I have a collateral factor of 79%. Most of it is in stable coins, so that's why my health factor is 1.3, just like on Aave. But I'm not going to borrow anymore because I don't want to pay a transaction fee, and I don't want to get too risky. So you'll select die or whatever you want to borrow and say 100%. Watch this. It'll show red. You see it says red. It's because of liquidation risk. So you're probably going to have to um, toggle it down to like 93% or 90% just in the meantime between the transactions because there are such things as black swans. So you're going to borrow this and you're going to get this. Now we just borrowed about 3300 now you hit the supply, you do the maximum amount that you have in your wallet, it'll be 3,300. And now you can come back over here and borrow again. It's probably gonna be about 2,000 when you can borrow it again. You borrow that, then you go supply and supply here. 
and then you go to borrow again if you want to and you can compound it even more and more and more because every time you borrow you're actually getting paid to borrow and you're getting paid to supply game changer in my opinion reminds me of ave the early days of ave you know when matic exploded but that's the strategy uh that's the concept that's how you guys can use it um i like benki it's cool but i I'm actually looking at other farms on AVAX as well. I'm using Benki a little bit, just kind of like the starting platform. I don't want to show the farms on this YouTube video. Um, well, because everyone's going to ape in and then you're going to kill my yields. But uh, if you guys want to know about it, um, I will mention it to you on Telegram if you want to talk about it. Uh, I got a Telegram link in the description below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys do three things for me. Like, subscribe, bell button. And leave a comment in that description below saying you subscribe. You'll automatically get thrown into that drawing turn. $100 and free. BTC. Let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 18. Oh, you guys saw Dodo? Yeah. There's a VDodo link in the description below as well. So you guys can get some extra interest. If you guys want to stake some Dodo. And be in like our staking pool. Because we buddies. We Dodo buddies. Proverbs chapter 18 verses 22. No, 23. The poor plead for mercy, but the rich answer harshly. Dogs, gotta say thanks to the patrons. Sean Bott, Da Man, Tariq Liu, T.L. King, JP, PJ, Bernito, Taco Nacho, Matias, Matt There Is, DMT Coats. Isn't that a band? Dogs, thanks for watching. All right, guys, if you want to catch me on TikTok, I do daily wisdom one-liners and let you guys see the pets and behind-the-scenes junk, so... Here it is. Scan it. Check it out. Bomb bomb. All right, so next off, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it, you guys can check out Celsius. Celsius is fire, dude. So what's so cool about Celsius is, guys, first off, you can get $40 in free BTC using my referral link in the description below. Just deposit 100 bucks. Add in the uh, code BTC50. You will also get an additional $50 if you deposit $400, guys. It's free BTC. Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. All right, so what the pants is Celsius and BlockFi for? Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading, and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is Crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins, and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's the quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it